We are now at one of the less known uh, neighborhoods of Tel Aviv. It's called the American German Colony. Uh, we, are to, we are actually taking you back to 1866 when the first Americans, something like 157 Americans, Protestants, came to here to worship God. They believed that if they will uh, flourish that land, uh, he will come soon. And later on, they realized that they cannot be here. It's too difficult for them. And the Germans, the Templars, actually uh, bought it from them then. One of the structure or the most important places that you can see here is a church that they built later on at the beginning. The Templars didn't believe in churches, they believed in community houses. But when the Kaiser, William II, came to Israel, they decided to build a church for him. But I don't know if you know, but in Israel everything is too slow. They didn't finish their church for him. He didn't visit the church, but he gave them, he bought them the bell. You can see the beautiful bell towers, the bell tower here. Now the church is usually closed. It, it's not as impressive as it's important, um, but it's still beautiful and the gate was open. And I'm as a tour guide, if the gate is open, I'm trying to push myself in. But look how beautiful it is. It's, it's I think, the only neo Gothic uh, church in uh, Israel in the middle of Tel Aviv. One of the most beautiful and unknown neighborhood. Um, they have here uh, uh, masses or services in Hebrew as well. And they actually say that um, they have a beautiful organ concert, but as you can see him in the L Church Jaffa, they said that we are sorry to announce that because of the COVID, um, we don't have any more the concerts, the organ concerts there, uh, which is a little bit sad. I remember that I was there when uh, the guy played the organ, and he's a Jew. Um, it's a beautiful now, Emmanuel. Church Emmanuel, it's uh, from the Bible, and the, the meaning of the name is God is with us, which is in a way um, one of the names of Jesus. Beautiful stained windows, and let's go in, let's see if I will be able to go in and if I will be able to take a video there. At least I'm trying. Look how beautiful is the wooden house of the original um, Americans who came to here. Look at the cellar. It's beautiful. I will talk about it later on. But first, the church is open. Then we will try to sneak in. I love that place. But again, COVID uh, changed everything here. Look how beautiful and peaceful that place is. Amazing. I will put my mask on and then I will ask them if I can take a video for you. Then let me stop the video for just a minute. And let's hope that you will see me again inside the church. Then uh, I got permit to go in. And I, as you can see, I'm the only one now. But it's such a beautiful place. And look at the stained windows. Um, wow. That makes it more beautiful. Because it's... Christmas time. It's the beginning of January. It's before the 6th of January. Then you can see the Christmas tree here as well. And um, look at the organ. Beautiful organ, I must say. And the sound of it is absolutely amazing.
Oh, what a nativity! It's so nice to see the nativity in a Protestant uh, church as well. You can see that the Lent is over, Christmas is on, holy water is here. Let me take a picture of the tree and the apse, which is um, simple and beautiful. Then uh, there's a huge connection between the Protestant and the Jews. Now, we know that Jesus was a Jew and uh, all the disciples were Jews, although some of you actually are uh, looking at yourself and saying, come on, he wasn't. Uh, then you can see here the menorah, which is a Jew symbol for the temple and uh, one of the most important Jewish symbols. But if you want to see another Jewish symbol, then look at the stained window. Look, let's start with the middle one. You can see the hand of God and the blood, a uh, tear of blood and the tone of horn, uh, but in the shape of a Star of David, which is amazing. And here you can see the angels and Jerusalem in heaven. And on the other side, it's the nativity of Jesus. You can see the altar and the um, star of Bethlehem, which is beautiful. And here in the middle, a sentence from John 3, 16. And let me... I won't translate it to English. I will put it, you know what, I will put it translation uh, um, as well. But I, it's in Hebrew, then I will read it in Hebrew. Ko av Elohim et haolam at kinatan et bno yichido leman lo yabed kol amamin bo ela imchal chayei olam. Ah, oh, look how beautiful it is. You can see the, for me it's like a blessing of Shabbat. Um, the menorah and the blessing, although it's not Shabbat. It's the, um, and flowers around it. The keys to kingdom of heaven is in front of you. Although the Protestants don't see uh, St. Peter as the first pope, just as the leader of the um, 12. It's very modern. Yes, that was my second uh, my second question. My first question will be, I'm trying to translate those three beautiful uh, stained windows. The, the windows. So um, can I can I? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Is, All right. Are you live streaming? Or? Uh, no, it's not live. Okay. Okay. So I have to I have to see, but those are like um, those are stories that happened in Jaffa. So. <sighs> That's also the so here. Yeah, I know. I know that Noah and yeah. the big fish is there. Yes, that's I know. Yeah. But I try to figure out Tabita. In, in that case, if you say that yes. in Java, that is Saint Peter and the vision in the middle. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think in the middle, that's the. It must be because it's on the, uh, it's on the house of Simon the Tannery. is on the roof, and you can see the sack full with uh, yeah, non the animals. animals. Yeah, and God gave the animals to. Uh, so and butcher them and eat, yes, but he said, "No, oh, I cannot do that. I'm yes, a Jew." Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he made them kosher. All right, then Tabita must be there. That's one. true. On the, on the yeah, he one. killed yeah, Tabita, Saint Peter. Awakened from uh, from that. Yes. And uh, on the right, that's just uh, Peter with uh, his friends in from Caesarea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cornelius, the story of Cornelius. Yes. 
great. Yeah, exactly. the two soldiers, the two Roman soldiers, and one servant from of Cornelius of Caesarea. Yes, great, 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 great. And uh, now, can I climb up to the? Yeah. Yes. This, that was my second question. Ah, it's open. Yeah, it's open. Thank you very much. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. What a beautiful view is from here. Here you can see. Um, another story that happened in uh, Jaffa and that uh, Yona and the fish, the well. And it actually reminds us a little bit of Jesus because Jesus was in the uh, tomb for three days just like Jonah and then the resurrection. Amazing. Then Cornelius, the story of Cornelius that started in Jaffa. Um, Simon the Thunder. And Tabitha is the left one. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. But look how beautiful are the flowers. And the menorah. Excellent. What can I tell you? I'm so happy that I did it. Really happy. Then let's go out. And if you like that video, it might be part of the video that I'm preparing for the German and American colony. But if not, it doesn't matter if it is or not, please subscribe my channel. And if you do some questions, don't hesitate. Uh, at the description, you will find my email, my uh, in Instagram. You can actually ask me from uh, through YouTube as well. And uh, thank you very much. What can I say? Let's see what. Mm. Now, it's is it belong to the Norwegian? Yes, um, the NCMI. That's a Norwegian organization. Norwegian, yeah. They um, are in charge of it, basically. You, that's your accent, in a uh, way. No, no, it's not, it's not my accent, I'm from Germany. Germany, uh, all right. A German colony, not so far yes, away. Yes, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, you're right. That, that was, a, oh, so hot here, so nice here. Yes, it's <laughs> Thank you. Then, beautiful, isn't it? I'm so happy that I did it. I'm so happy that I dared to go in. Um, as a private person, I won't do that, but as a tour guide, I will do that. Sadly, I'm not working for two years, almost two years. Next month, it will be the two years. Yeah, celebration, but I'm trying to survive. Thank you very much, bye-bye.